Hey everyone, Teacher Chang here. And today we are going to go ahead and take a look at Canvas and we're going to go ahead and build a new quiz. And on top of building a new quiz, we're going to go ahead and build some question banks. So we're going to start off by creating a quiz here in my practice course. So in my practice course tile, I'm going to click on a new quiz here. And I'm going to build a new quiz. And, uh, and I'm not going to use classic quizzes because they're going to go ahead and get rid of that in a little bit. So uh, we're going to go ahead and work with new quizzes. And we want all of our question banks within new quizzes. So I'm going to start off by creating a quiz. I'm going to call this One Step Equations. I'm going to make it worth three points. I'm only going to have three questions per student, but I'm going to make many more questions, uh, maybe four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten questions. It depends on how many you want to make, but each student is only going to receive three random questions. So let's go ahead and try this out. Make sure uh, if you want it to sync to your grade book, you go ahead and click it to uh, where you want it to sync. So our grade book is Synergy. So I have it syncing over to my Synergy grade book. You do need to have a due date. So I'm just going to make it due, uh, let's say December 15th. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. We're going to click on save and that brings you to our new quizzes. So we can go ahead and type in our instructions right here and you can type in whatever you want. I'm just gonna say, do your best and good luck. All right, so whatever you wanna do, uh, that's probably not how I would write up my actual instructions, but just something simple where you could go ahead and place your instructions. So I'm gonna click on done. And this is where we could go ahead and add some questions. But before we do that, I wanna go ahead and create some question banks. So your question banks can be found right over here. This is where we're going to locate our question banks and manage them. So th these three dots at the top right hand corner, I'm going to go ahead and click on that and I'm going to click on manage item banks. So I'm going to click on that and you can see that I've created several item banks already. And these are made based off of my honors geometry courses. And you can see that with the HG. So HG meaning it's honors geometry. And then I have U1, which is unit one, T2 meaning topic two. And then this is on reflections. You do want to organize your item bank so that it is easy for you to figure out well what's in it and whether you wanna use it for a particular quiz. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one. Now, remember this is for my practice course here. So I'm gonna add a bank. I'm gonna click right here at the top right-hand corner. I'm gonna add a bank and I'm gonna give it a name. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in PC for my practice course. I'm gonna do one step equations. And I'm going to say that this is fill in the blank. So these are the types of questions that I want to do. I wanna do a fill in the blank question. You can do multiple choice, do whatever you want. Again, you get to name your bank, whatever you want, but just try to organize it in a way where you can recognize where everything is when you're selecting questions from your bank. I'm gonna go ahead and create this bank now. And we can see, we can try to find our bank. It is in alphabetical order. So if I scroll down, I'll be able to see my practice course, one step equations, fill in a blank right over here. So I'm gonna click on that and our item bank is empty. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some questions. So I'm gonna click on new and we're gonna add in a question. Now, remember I said that I wanna do fill in a blank, but remember you could choose whichever type of question you want. So the purpose is just creating these question banks. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a fill in the blank. And this is where I'm going to type in my equation. So I'm just gonna write down X plus one is equal to five. And I want to know, well, what is x equal to? So right here in the statement, I'm just going to go ahead and write down, well, x is equal to 4, because 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. Now, I, I do want some spaces in between here, and I'm going to go ahead and highlight this 4, because that's where my blank space is going to be. I'm going to leave it as an open entry, but if you've ever done fill in the blank, you can go ahead and use a drop down or a word bank, but I'm just going to do an open entry and I want it to be the exact match because that's the only answer for this case. So I'm just going to go ahead and do an exact match and click on done. So I'm done with my first question and this is what it will look like. And this place will be blank where they need to fill it in. They type in their answer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and build several of these types of questions. So I'm gonna click on uh, right over here, this one right over here, which is copying another one. And I'm gonna copy it and put it in an existing item bank. That's the one that I created. So I'm gonna drop down and find my item bank. I wanna place it in the same place. And I also wanna keep the original one in this bank as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on add. 
And that's going to create the same problem. Now I just need to edit one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and edit the first one. I'm going to go ahead and change this plus one to a plus two. Well, x plus two is equal to five. So that means x must equal to three. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to a three. I'll highlight that. And then we'll go ahead and create a blank space here. And again, keep it as an open entry, exact match, and click on done. I'm going to duplicate this again because I want all of these items in this question bank to be very similar types of questions. So I'm going to go ahead and click on copy a new one. And again, all of this is already pre-filled because we did this earlier. And I'm just going to click on add. And then I have my second one and copy that other one. So now I'm going to go ahead and edit this one. So I'm going to change this one to x plus 3. We'll go ahead and make x equal to 2. So I'll go ahead and make that 2. And again, we'll go ahead and create that blank space and make it an exact match. So we'll do this a few more times here. I'm going to go ahead and add a new one. And again, this is the only thing that you really need to do is to go ahead and create several types of questions, very similar questions here. So we're going to do x plus 4. That's going to give us x is equal to 1. So we'll go ahead and change that to a 1 here. And again, we'll create that blank space and make it an exact match. And let's just do one more. So I'm just going to go ahead and do one more here. So I'm going to copy it one more time. And then I'm going to go ahead and edit this one. And we're going to say, OK, x plus 5. And that means x is equal to 0. So I'm just going to highlight that, fill in our blank, and we're just going to do an exact match. All right, so these are all of our questions. We got one, two. So we got one, two, three, four, five questions that we're going to be using. But I only want to give three of them to my students, and I want it to be chosen at random. So I'm going to go ahead and return back to our quiz. And right over here, this plus sign right over here is where I start adding some questions. So I could go ahead and click on this plus sign and I could create questions directly into the quiz or I could choose from my item bank. And that's what this little piggy is for. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this little piggy right over here. And that's going to open up all of my item banks. So I get to choose which item bank I want to pull from. So I'm going to go down to my one step equation right over here and click on that. And I'm going to select all or random. So I'm just going to click on that. And that's going to put all five of them into my quiz. I'm going to X out of here. And we can see that all five of them are in our quiz. And that's why it's worth five points. So it's automatically set to one point per question. So I'm going to click on this. And I don't want all five. So I'm going to randomly select questions by clicking on this little button over here. And then I'm just going to say, OK, I want them to select three random questions. And I'm going to make each question worth one point. If you want to make it worth two or more, you can. You could go ahead and change it right over here. But I'm going to go ahead and make it worth one point each. OK, so I click Done. And then it's going to pull three random questions and each student will get their own three random questions. Now, the more banks that you use, the more randomized it's going to be and the more customized it's going to be for each student. So let's say I go ahead and pull in another question bank. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in another content here and I'm gonna add in another question bank and I'm going to go ahead and this is my previous one. If I wanna see my other question banks, I'm gonna click right up here, so item banks and then I'm gonna choose another selection. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one right over here, uh, which is on my honors geometry reflections. And these are true false questions. So these are some true false items. And again, I'm gonna select all of these and let's say that I just want them, I'm going to X out of here. I just want them to do maybe two of these. So I'm going to go ahead and click on two. So uh, random, I'm going to change this to two here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click done. Now, you can go to your settings and you can go ahead and shuffle your questions. You can shuffle your answers. That's up to you. You can do one question at a time. These are all settings that you were able to do before in the past. I'm going to do one question at a time. You could set a time limit if you like. But again, these are things that you can play with. It was available in classic quizzes as well. So I'm going to go ahead and return back to our quiz here and I have my quiz already made. Now, I originally said it was three points. 
I decided to go ahead. Okay, I have five questions now. So let's make it worth five points. So if I want to edit it, I got to click on these three dots here. We're going to go ahead and click on edit. And now I could go ahead and change it to five points. And again, don't forget to save. So we're going to go ahead and save it. Now, if I go back into my quiz, it brings me back into my quiz. I can now preview it. So this is what the kids are going to see. Uh, remember, we had five questions in our one-step equation, but I only want three at random. And I had several of these reflection question, questions, but I only want two at random. So let's go ahead and preview and see what it looks like. I right, click on preview. It's one question at a time. This one right over here, x plus one is equal to five. So that means x must equal to four. Okay, I'll go ahead and click on next. Okay, x plus four is equal to five. Well, that's equal to one. Okay, click on next. Let's let's get one wrong, all right? So let's go ahead and say, okay, x plus five is equal to five. Let's say it's three. Obviously it's not, but let's see what it looks like when we get something wrong. All right, again, I'm just gonna look at this coordinate rule for reflecting over the x-axis. Well, that means to keep the x change to y, so that is true. And again, let's just go ahead and get this one wrong here. Uh, in the reflection over y is equal to x is negative y, negative x, and well, that is false, but I'm gonna say it's true. Okay, so I'm gonna submit my test here, and it asks us if we're ready to submit. So I'll submit it, auto grading. Let's take a look at how we did here. So once again, we have our results. So randomly chosen questions from my item banks, from the ones that we created, and each kid will get a customized quiz. All right, so hopefully this helped you out. Maybe this will help take down the cheating that may have been coming in with all of these quizzes uh, that you've been doing with your classes and, and all these kids are getting 20 out of 20s and, and they're doing it in like two minutes. So hopefully that'll steer them away from cheating and this will help you out with your classes. All right, good luck, enjoy and have fun.